Hey everybody, it's Flynn, Saturday, and I have work in about an hour, so I'm cooking breakfast right now. Um, the topic for the day, or the week, I guess, is uh, how trans people are like viewed in the media, I, I think that's what it was. Um, so it's kind of hard for me because it's going on about three years that I haven't watched TV in any regular manner. So I don't know like what's currently going on in the news and stuff, because the news suppresses me, so I stopped watching it. And I don't watch TV because it pisses me off. Um, but one thing that really bothered me was uh, two years ago when I first got to watch um, what was it? The L word? Yeah, the L word. Um, it was all awesome, it was all gay, and I was, like, I was gay. I was gay at the time. So, I was like, yeah, gay, 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 yeah, woo And then, like, the character Max was introduced, but at that point, I think it's, like, season, like, the end of season two, kind of, or, like, beginning of season three. Um, they were going by their birth name at the time, and, um, they moved down with Jenny Schechter, um, who's, like, basically the base of the show. If you like Jenny Schechter, I'm sorry, she's a bitch. Um, but yeah, like, it was going pretty good the whole beginning of the show, and like, Max stayed as a, like, actual character, a secondary character, but it meant, like, a regular character throughout the whole show, and was not viewed as, like, some weird, gross, creepy, like, fetish or anything, it was nice. And, I don't know, he just went through, like, a lot of, like, normal, just, stuff. They didn't go, like, really in-depth to it, because it, it was a gay show. It's a show about the lesbians. But, since they did introduce that character, they did bring up all that stuff. And for a while, they handled it really well. And then season five and six happens. Five wasn't the end of the world. Six, I still refuse to believe exists. Because they ruined Max. Almost completely. I was horrified. Like, it was just all this stupid shit. He ended up, like, getting pregnant, which, he was on T for, like, since maybe, like, season three or four. So, like, however long it is between seasons, holy shit, like, he had a full fucking beard at that point. Like, I know being on T doesn't make, like, it impossible to get pregnant, but it's really, really, really fucking hard, okay? And, like, I guess the person who wrote for the show was just like, Oh, there's that guy in the news who just got pregnant. We should do something like that. And then they did. And it was stupid because, like, the person that they had seen in the news had, like, actually tried to get pregnant. Like, he had gone off of testosterone and, like, changed his hormones so that it would be a more welcoming body for being pregnant and all of that. But, no, they didn't do the research, fairly certain, besides just being like, oh, look at that, woo! Which pissed me off, like, uh, it's just so annoying. Oh. 
And then, um, yeah, so he, Max ends up getting pregnant, and he's, like, freaking out the whole time. I would, too, if I somehow got pregnant while I'm on testosterone, and I was not wanting a baby, and I was just having sex with my boyfriends, because... Because I want to have sex with my boyfriend, you know? Um, I don't have a boyfriend at the time, but if I did, I would totally have sex with him. I don't give a shit. Uh, but, yeah, so... That happened. It's, it just bothered me how, like, little thought was probably put into it. And then by the sixth season, he was just, like, a raging mess of hormones and freaking out all the time and, like... Jenny is a bitch, and she's just a bitch the whole fucking time. And she's all like, Oh, Max, you look so awesome and womanly. You look beautiful. And Max is like, I hate you. Ah. And I don't remember if they were still dating at the time or not. But, yeah. But... Thankfully, like, most of the other characters, like, stepped in for Max when that was happening and were like, Jenny, that's not cool at all. But then she continued to be, like, oblivious. She's like, what? What did I do? And I'm like, hey, Jenny, I hate you. but I can't find it. I'm so mad. And yes, my pan is off. It's just still hot. Um, I don't know. It's just like that and then like it kind of bothered me how in the end if you're, if you haven't watched The O Word by now, I'm sorry, it's been like years since it's been out, I'm gonna talk about it. So, if you don't want spoilers, you should probably stop now. Um, oh yeah, they weren't going out because, yeah, yeah, um, so Max and Tom get pregnant together on accident, and... Max is freaking out the whole time because he's a guy and he doesn't want to be pregnant. Like, it's okay if you are male and you do wish to be pregnant. It was just he did not. And, and it was freaking him out. But Tom, I don't remember, I think Tom was kind of okay with it for a while. But it was still like, whoa, what's going on? And then, like, they were kind of just dealing with it for a while. Um, at one point, Max wanted to get an abortion, I think. But all of his friends talked him out of it. Which is stupid, because if you want to get an abortion, fucking get an abortion. It's your body! And then, sorry I'm eating, I just like have no time. Then, uh, he's thinking about like adopting, like giving away his child to adoption. But instead of like just putting his kid into like a foster, or like just like giving the child over to the state, like. Adopting directly to one of the friends who was like one of the main characters. And they talked him out a lot. Of course. It was just like really frustrating because like not only was it like all of this 
negative stuff. It wasn't it wasn't so much negative as just like the show was throwing a shit ton of like horrible shit at Max, and nothing was going right for him like the whole the whole fucking season, and it just made me want to cry because like. That's not just, like, bad luck. That's, like, someone wrote that and was like, let's take this character, put him in a bowl, and then poop on his head for an entire year and see what happens. Like, <laughs> what? Somebody wrote that. Like, it just... So that bothered me a lot. Plus, I was kind of curious at the end, because, like, it just ends, like, I think one of the last episodes is, like, Max gives birth, and everyone's like, oh, your baby's so cute, and then we never find out what happens, and on top of that, like, Tom fucking bails, like, last minute. I'm so mad. I was like, really? Really? It's just, like, all of the bad things that could ever happen to someone in the course of a year. Because it, it was it was more than like just the pregnancy, it was like before then. Just, just bullshit. <clears throat> Something else is that like, in shows and movies. I'm trying to, like, think. And I can't really think of more than maybe five shows ever that I've seen or heard about that, like, have a trans person as a character, no, not even as a character, as one of the main characters, or like a secondary main character, and like, them not being a complete fucking joke. That's a problem, like... <laughs> That really bothers me a lot. Um, I think my two favorite shows, well, not shows, movies that I've ever seen with a trans character where it wasn't, like, either shit constantly thrown at them or, like, them being a joke was Better Than Chocolate. I don't remember her name. I want to say like Jackie or something. <laughs> uh, I'm pretty sure it starts with a J. I don't I don't remember. It's been a while since I've seen it. But like she's like a secondary main character kind of. She's got like like there's the plot of the movie. And then there's like the subplot and another subplot and another subplot probably. She's like in one of the subplots. With all the secondary main characters. And it's awesome. And then another one that I saw last, it was during this last school year, was, uh, Romeo's, Romeo's, um, it's in a foreign language, I don't remember, I think it's like German, maybe, I really don't remember, but I found it, like, I can't, I, came across it on Tumblr and I was like, I want to see this! And then like kept saying that for like ever and then, what was it? My ex finally like found it for me and we watched it and it was awesome! Like, bad shit happens but bad shit happens to everyone in every movie ever. So like, a little bit of shitstorm happening is just like, the writer creating conflict in the movie. Like, if you don't have conflict in a movie, it's not an interesting movie. So I can understand bad things happening to people 
were the main characters of a show because he was the main character and it was fucking awesome. And it was beautiful and it made me feel all these emotions because it was like bad stuff happens but he like dealt with it and he survived and it was great and I was like ah and just like yeah I I I really enjoyed it like it pulled at my heartstrings so much but it wasn't it was not done in a bad light at all it was great like and like instead of just like making fun of all the, like, stupid shit that we have to go through just to be seen as normal, like, binding and packing and, like, all of that. Really still on the FDM side. Um, instead of, like, making fun of it and be like, oh, ho, ho, he has to bind, oh, ho, ho, he has to pack. It was like, I'm working out. Blah, blah, blah. Oh, let me just put on some clothes. Like, it was normal. It was just like, showing that it bothered him, but not like, making it a huge deal. Because it's not, like, it. it's a huge deal to me, but it shouldn't be to you or you or you. Or you, or you, or anyone else. Because it doesn't matter to you. It's not important. It's important to me because it makes me comfortable. It shouldn't be important to you because it's my body and fuck you. So, I just really like the way that was done. And that was called Romeo's. And then... The first one I talked about was, uh, well, the L word, and then better than chocolate. But, like, all the other movies or shows or anything that I've ever seen, when I think about it, weren't about trans people. They were about people who were cross-dressing. And I just identified with them because I was like, oh, I have to go through some of those same things. Like, I have to buy my chest to pretend, no, they were pretending to be male because, well, like, she's the man. Like, she's not actually transgender. She's trying to pretend to be her brother so that she can play soccer at the school. But, like, she's trying to be read as male the whole movie, and... I can identify with that because I'm trying to be read as male almost my whole life. But it's still not about the trans person at all. So, I don't even know where I'm going with this. I'm just like eating and rambling. It's like smoky in here. My eyes are starting to hurt. I'm going to go grab my glasses. Yeah. My hair is silly. I do not care. So basically, what I'm trying to say... Nick, get out of here! You're like standing literally underneath of me.
there are some places where trans issues are like represented in the media where they're not completely made jokes of but uh usually they just have a shit storm thrown at them and it bothers me a lot um Yeah, I don't, I don't know about like public, like current public stuff in the news. Cause again, I don't watch the news. I haven't watched it in years, except for I'm forced to. Um, yeah, I think like the most recent thing I can talk about is. Laura something something. I don't remember her name. I'm, I'm really bad with names. It's not because I don't care. Um, she's the lead singer of Against Me. Uh, I'm not sure what the band was. I haven't really read about it because I don't read the news. And I don't pay attention to shit. <laughs> uh, I don't know. But she's transitioning from male to female, which is totally awesome. She's got a great voice, and I'm jealous of her singing voice. <sighs> um, but yeah, she just like, finally, well not finally, she just like, recently, um, publicly came out and I know there's been at least two articles written about it, but I think it was by the Rolling Stone. In the first one, they were awesome and like used her preferred name the whole time, I'm pretty sure, and then, uh, then her pronouns correctly. And then the second time, they just completely like backtracked and were assholes and used her birth name and like male pronouns and I was like what the fuck is going on what what like that did not even make sense at all because they did so well the first time and I was like what what I actually like saw a post about it on tumblr which is how I saw it and then I like made this huge rant about it, about how inappropriate that was as like, media people. Like, I used to write it for my high school, like, in the newspaper, but it was like the town newspaper, technically. We just got like our own page. Um, I'm not a professional writer at all, don't, don't take me seriously, but like, as a writer at all, <laughs> it's not that hard to, like, not be an asshole, basically. Like, what bothered me about the second article the most, besides like the fact that they were just blatantly wrong about everything, was how lazy they were being. Because they already showed that they could fucking do the job correctly. And then they turned around and did that. And it's like, even if, even if this article was supposed to be, like, like, the uh, desired audience was supposed to be people who did not know that she was transitioning. There is no fucking reason that you need to use the incorrect name and pronouns the whole fucking article. Like, I would have changed the title of it. I would have maybe, for clarification's sake, used her birth name once or twice in the very beginning of the article just to start it off as my introduction and then like use like I, since it just bothers me because I don't like I wouldn't be an asshole and I wouldn't write the article like that at all but I would maybe use the 
birth name once or twice in the beginning as you're intro like starting your article and then with that name use the wrong pronouns. And then immediately switch and explain what the fuck is going on and then just finish your fucking article the correct way, you know? Like I think like the title of the article is like the secret transgender life of whatever his name is her name is like blah 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 from against me. And I was like, hey, why don't you just say the secret transgender life of the against me's lead vocalist Laura something I think it's like something Grace. I don't know. I'm bad with names. But like just started off like that and first off that would draw in all of the people who are like, wait a minute. Against me's lead singers not named Laura <laughs> They'd be like you're wrong! And then they'd go in and they'd read the article and they'd be like, I was wrong! <laughs> or they might be an asshole and be like, blah, 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 blah. but at least they would like understand what the fuck was going on. And you weren't an asshole by the way you wrote it. It just makes them an asshole. Because they're an asshole. <sighs> I should be leaving in like eight minutes. Anyway. Um. The first article was written extraordinarily well, and then, well, like, it shouldn't even be getting praise, though, because, like, that's how you're supposed to write an article. Like, if they were cis, would you write the article with, like, some horrible, horrible nickname that someone gave them when they were a little kid and has been bothering them their whole life and then used the wrong pronouns? I didn't think so. Like, why is it different for her? <laughs> like, what? It's just stupid, stupid, stupid shit. It doesn't need to happen, and it happens all the time, and it bothers me so much. Video's getting edited so much because I've been talking for 28 minutes. But yeah, um, we aren't represented fairly in the media. Like, there are those little glimpses of awesome that shouldn't even be called awesome because it's decent. Like, like, do I feel like I'm giving out cookies for being decent people, and I shouldn't be because it's bullshit. Like. Why should anyone write an article about me that's any different from writing an article about my little sister, or my older sister, or my mom, or my lame-ass dad? Like, what is so different and horrible and wrong about me that you can't even have the fucking decency to use my name and my pronouns correctly? Like. Why is this so hard? Even, like, especially since you're, like, a journalist slash reporter, I assume. Like, isn't your job to, like, find out the facts and then use them and report them? Hmm. Doesn't seem like it's that hard, unless the person you're interviewing is being uncooperative. And in that case, you probably shouldn't be writing the article, unless you're writing an article about how uncooperative they are. Because then you've got lots of stuff to talk about. We've just got lots of feels about this stuff. <sighs> yeah, so... In conclusion, the media is all, as a whole is an asshole. And occasionally has stories where they're not an asshole and are decent fucking humans to other decent fucking humans and respect everybody's pronouns and names and don't make the, a total joke or like even a joke at all like 
I'm a I'm kind of a joke because I'm funny as fuck and I make a joke of myself, but that's because I made a joke of myself. Like I can make fun of myself and you can kind of make fun of myself a little bit because I do stupid shit and I'm funny. <laughs> but you can't make a joke of me because I'm different. It's basically what I'm trying to shame. <laughs> I don't know. I'm probably gonna remake this later, maybe. I've got work from 11 to... It's currently 10 to 1 to 6. Which sucks. So, yes. The media's representation of trans people just really bothers me a lot. Because we are majorly underrepresented, and when we are represented, it's usually represented horribly, or just like in a completely confusing way, and it's really stupid. I heard once about uh, a lady that was MTF, and she was trying to, I think she was trying to like get her name, or like her gender marker changed on her driver's license, and the DMV wouldn't do it, which really upset her. So in protest, she goes outside the building and takes off her shirt and stands there with her bare chest and just, like, starts protesting, and it was awesome because it actually got a response, and that response was, that they called the police, and the police were like, I don't know if she got arrested or if she just like got in trouble or got a fine written or anything. I I don't remember how it all ended up, but basically the problem was that they were respecting her as a female because she had acknowledged breasts, but but. They would not change her fucking gender marker. <laughs> like, that is a fucking double standard. That is like the epitome of a fucking double standard. <laughs> like, I'm pretty sure the law says that a male can stand outside with their shirt off. And since they would not fucking give her her gender marker change, why would it be a problem? Since they obviously see her as male, for her to be outside with her shirt off. Because they don't see her as male, 100%. Which is just really stupid and confusing, and they need to stop bullshitting around and make up the goddamn mind. And actually, it shouldn't even be up to them, it should be up to her, and they should fuck off. But it's just stupid shit like that. How, like, how confusing is that? Like. <laughs> I'm pretty sure, like, an article I saw written about that said their name was outside and we could not, not allow him to stand outside with his breasts bared to the public. And I was like, really? Why not? Is there something wrong with... <laughs> like, I just have issues with, like, acknowledged breasts in general. Like, it bothers me that I can't walk around shirtless, even though, like, even if I did have a chest, I, like, didn't have a chest, I would be, I just, I think there shouldn't be, like, gender-based rules. Actually, I don't think there should be rules regulating my dressing at all, unless I'm being, like, outside, naked, having sex with someone. Like, until it becomes actually rude, I don't think it's a problem. Like, if I'm just walking around shirtless, who cares? So was that guy. So was that guy. So was that guy. Why aren't you, like, trying to arrest him? Fuck you. Ah, what is so sexual about my body that isn't sexual about their body? Like, <sighs> this stupid shit. But yeah, shit in the media. I don't like it. But I have to go to work, so I will finish this video later, and I will edit 
stuff, so it's not a hour, a half hour long rant.